Welcome back to NBA Cinema. Today we got to talk about Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce comments about Jordan Poole. And as you all know, Jordan Poole has had an underwhelming season. Many looked at him as someone who could score 25 a game and become one of the elite, you know, offensive players in the NBA. But that has not happened. And not only has he had trouble with shooting, you have players that go into slumps and you know, a new role and new responsibility, it can take a while for them to catch on. But it's like his mental lapses and some of the sideshow stuff that has gone on on the sideline starting to take a toll on his teammates, himself, and also, you know, the fans who were in his corner after the Draymond snuff. Now you see many people saying, well, we kind of see why Draymond did what he did because Jordan Poole doesn't take the game as serious as he should take it. And He's not a leader. He, you know, he was in his best role as a six man. And it's kind of showing that everybody's not cut out to have their own team, you know, and, and be the leader. Just because you come from a championship team, you can be insulated by a lot of things where your talent can just shine and the leadership qualities and all those other things are handled by other veterans on your roster. And there's nothing wrong with that. But whenever you're not within that system anymore, it shows and Kevin Garnett is not thrilled with what he's seeing from Jordan Poole and he <laughs> KG went so far as to say he don't feel like Poole should be in the league no more let's check out what he had to say and I'll be back with my commentary let's peep it you watching Jordan Poole no that's not much watch TV it's I, not, thought, it, I thought I'm it crushed. was I'm crushed bro bro out here wanting to be other than a, uh, everything other than the basketball player I, 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 I saw some joint where he was talking to the he's talking to a teammate on the on the on the joint. He wasn't looking at the the uh, play. And like Lord, out. that ain't no leader. Ain't nobody on the team listening to you. Ain't nobody hearing you. Right. You tell a motherfucker dive on the floor. They gonna look at he, you like he, what? He flexing. He flexing that ring though. Over oh, there. That's what it what is. What ring? He flexing like he Bro, can't, he, he's I don't, over I, there like I'm a champ. Yeah, but you ain't acting to, like it. A champ. You ain't acting like you. You flexing champ shit, but you ain't. You ain't bringing champ environment in here. Right. You learned this in Golden State, nigga? Nah, this what you, this nah, what you nah, brought you from nah, the... you ain't learned this. Bro, that's what I'm saying. You ain't learned niggas this. over there professionals, bro. You got, yeah. They got your ass out of there because you wouldn't fall in line, bro. That's what I'm saying. Niggas like this don't belong in our league, bro. Bro, you in the league. league. He does not belong in the league as a... He's the head of a team, P. Nah, I don't want my son under no nigga like that. You see how he talking to teammates? Shut up, my nigga. This is my team. I got it. Nigga drawing up the joint, <laughs> looking all through the towel, snap. Like, like, bro, you can say shut whatever up, you want about up. me, bro. It's I ain't never squad. disrespect the game. I ain't never disrespected the position you, of being you know, a leader. So, you know, they ain't got no, what bets they got over there, though? They bro, you got, got no bets? Bro, you just said, you the champion. <laughs> you the fan. You came in here with championship energy. He had your girl, too, bro. He had your girl in the joint there. He had your he girl in the go, building. He's supposed to go for 50. Man, he's poke. Man, I see why. I see why. You had shorty. And then shorty bet on his ass. Sure they had him in the parlay, Lord. Yeah, I'm disappointed in Jordan Poole, man. I thought I was going to get to see the Poole show. I know the coach saying something. I know development. They're just yeah, not letting dude do that. He don't, he don't respect, respect think, nothing. I don't think he respect his teammates, and I'm not sure he respect the coaching staff. No, he don't. I was, I'm highly disappointed in him. But, yeah, it is what it is. So seeing Jordan Poole rocking out like this is – abundantly clear he wasn't ready for this role and you look at a team like Washington I'm not sure what they thought as far as you know you go from Bradley Bill uh, to Jordan Poole I'm not sure what they thought they were going to accomplish with him and Kyle Kuzma you know presumably as two of the leaders on the team those guys are not players that you want in leadership roles you know and, and because one thing they're trying to do is build some culture there and they haven't really had any since John Wall and Bradley Bill were in the backcourt together building the team up. So um, looking at, at this roster and, and the potential for it going forward, I don't like the mesh of players. I just don't like the environment at all. It doesn't look like he has respect, as KG said, for the coach or the players on the team, telling them it's his team and – you can kind of see some of the things Draymond Green was talking about, right? We look at Draymond Green, you see what he did to Rudy, Rudy Gobert recently, and we automatically think Draymond was the aggressor and everything. But as you see uh, more and more of Jordan Poole, you realize the fact that, hey, 
Draymond may have not been the initial irritant in some of these back and forths that have taken place. You have to consider the fact that Jordan Poole is mouthy. Um, he doesn't, as his stock rose in the NBA, he felt less and less uh, like he 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 was beneath, um, you know, the stars. And not saying you're beneath him as a man, but I'm talking about in terms of the totem pole and the way you rank the players and the core guys on a roster. And he was headed, you know, to having that type of voice in the locker room, but he continuously crossed lines with Draymond. Those are two combative players. And, you know, when it got real, he wanted to play victim after the fact. Um, But if you're going to be mouthy like that, you're going to carry yourself that way. You have to stand on it because you got to be ready for anything at any given moment when you open yourself up to that type of, uh, you know, that, that type of altercation or anything. You can't control where it goes, you know. So uh, that's what I would say about Jordan Poole. I've already seen rumors about them looking at moving him out of Washington if possible. But now it's kind of like, who do you think is going to want him? Because we could be looking at, you know, one of the fastest downturns of any player in the NBA. Now, he has that contract for sure. He'll finish that out. But his next one, see, that's what Jordan Poole should be focused on. He, he should know that playing at a high level, he should even be trying to reach even higher heights because you're trying to get that third contract too. But it looks like his third contract is going to look vastly different than his second one, you know. But but he, he got that second one. You have to give him that. Um, But – Maybe someone looks at him in the future as a player that's best suited coming off the bench to relieve the starters where he kind of just can go on offense. But you you even look at players in his role. Um, you, you know, you, you look at some of the players. Like, if you look at the way Cam Thomas started this season off, people thought Jordan Poole would start the season off like that. Uh, you look at the way Jordan Clarkson's playing, you expect – Jordan Poole to play that way, but it, it just hasn't translated for whatever reason, man. Um, he's got a lot to learn about leading men, um, leading a team, and not just scoring. You know, he could make the exciting play for Golden State, but you got Steph, um, you know, Clay, Clay was struggling a little bit, but, you know, you have Steph making so many of the main plays on offense carrying the load is such a high clip and when he was there during the championship run Wiggins was playing better so you got guys carrying the load so you could come in and do a few exciting things and it's real loud and people take it for more than what it was but now you're responsible not only for the exciting plays or scoring bursts but you're responsible you know for getting defensive stops leading the team um you know, empowering, empowering your guys. and It just doesn't look like he's cut for that, man. So I want to know, do you agree with KG or do y'all think Jordan Poole just need a little bit more time to get it together? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.